a hard-fought, well-played game with uh, Topolov wondering, I think he actually asked, did I miss the win? <laughs> you know, I think that was his first question. Oh, no, do you I know. look at that. Look at yes. his face. Yes, do you see his face? Oh. He says, <gasps> Look at his oh. face. Oh, and... Well, now, and, Maurice doesn't get to do the honors. It looks like Magnus did it for you. And, Mar and uh, Magnus... I don't know what happened. That yeah. sounds like... Well, well, I think a, Magnus just told him they're Rook C5, right? Well, I don't know if it was Rook C5 so much as... Uh, he, he, I think Veselin, after shaking hands, saying, Did I miss something? And Magnus said, Yes, I think you should have played this. And the eyes went... I had that opportunity, and immediately Magnus knew that he had overstepped the bounds of this game. Well, we had been keeping track, guys, and I don't recall the computer going crazy for any move as we were going through the game. So I, I think it was that moment I with Rook C5. Yeah. I think it was right here. Uh, what move number is that? Sorry. Uh, well, I can do it on my screen. Sorry. I don't have to. It was... Um, Let's see. We're getting we're getting to it. We're getting to it. And we certainly will be going over it. And it was the move. Rook takes a5. And I believe Magnus was saying, I was afraid of rook c5 right here, right now. If and you now play rook c5. Yeah. And then the eyes of Topolov lit up, and he said, oh, my God, I didn't see that. Because, of course, the point is that after after the capture, that knight on, a, B8 on b8 is, is bereft of squares, which is something that we've we've seen in a number of games today, those trapped pieces, right? Exactly. It's coming up again and again. It's like we have uh, themes of the round. And if rook c5, if the rook was forced to move away, for example, to anywhere along the eighth rank to, say, g8, then... That's the whole point. There's no rook takes c6, and the a pawn on a5 is lost for free. And Veselin just simply missed rook c5, and I think we did too. We, we, we skirted past this uh, precise moment, but uh, Magnus recognized immediately that he had gone too far. And the moment has passed. Um, Topalov has regained his composure. He seemed a little bit upset there for just a second. And, uh, I think he's in shock, actually. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think he really, really is, is in shock. Magnus is all, all smiles today. <laughs>